Hello everybody, um, got a really interesting one here for you today. Um, I'm just going to show you um, a Mega Drive um, adapter for the Super Nintendo. Now this is some real black magic stuff here, I don't know if you can see it closely. It's a cartridge that um, connects to your Super Nintendo and then allows you to play um, Japanese, American, UK, European um, Mega Drive Genesis games. Um, I say, for anyone of you who were kids in the 90s, um, this is some real kind of black magic stuff, really. Nobody in the world back then would think you could play Mega Drive games on the SNES. Um, just to run through it, um, I got this uh, adapter from Akibara over in Tokyo on a recent holiday. I was there a couple of weeks ago. Saw it, couldn't believe my eyes. Just thought, you know, it's pretty cheap. I'll buy one, buy a couple of games and, and see what happens. And amazingly, it worked. It was absolutely incredible. So today we're going to be looking at playing Super Hang On. Uh, Super Monaco GP2 out in centers, um, Rambo 3, Strider, PAL version of um, Space Area 2, and the classic Afterburner 2. Um, it's very very interesting this cart as well, it has four settings as you can see on the side there, and each of those represents a different region, so you can actually bypass the region lock on the Mega Drive, and also run, um, say for example, Rambo 3, if you put it on the North American NTSC settings, or the Japanese ones, it converts to Japanese text, that's just another old Mega Drive trait that, you know, for example, putting a Japanese um, cart into a PAL Mega Drive, I think would um, change some of the language to English. I think that you'd see that in Streets of Rage, the title screen come bare knuckle, et cetera, et cetera. Right, so let's get this party uh, started. Um, I think we will start with um, Rambo 3. Um, just got this. So literally you just plug your cartridge on top of the adapter and pop it in your snares. There you go. Now the way this works is it basically uses the SNES to scavenge power and then runs a video signal for an AV signal from the side of the cartridge to your AV inputs uh, on your TV, um, RGB I believe. And um, yeah, it works fantastically well. So let's check it out. Um, here we go. Okay, there you go. Yeah, as I say, you would not believe this in the 90s if you were a kid playing Mega Drive games on your SNES. Um, just a quick note about the SNES itself. Um, it is a uh, UK PAL SNES. It has the lockout chip disabled, which may enable to run this cartridge, but I think it'll run fine on a, an unmodded UK PAL uh, SNES. Just to prove that it does indeed work, I will show you. I can see if you can see it. One, one SNES, SNES controller. Hit the start button. One piece start. A little bit of uh, amazing graphics from 1989 when this first Japanese text. If you change the thing on the, the side of the cartridge, it will actually read in, in English, which is pretty impressive. So again, just to show, I'm actually controlling that. Just to prove this isn't a joke, it is real. You can play Mega Drive games on your SNES, etc, etc. So there you go. Right, let's have a look what we're going to go for next. I think we're going to have to go for Super Hang On. So just bear with me while I try and get this cartridge off. Could be tricky. Might not be. Hang on. Ugh, there you go. Comes off. All right, super hang on. Let's get that bad boy in there. Okay. Pop onto the screen. Some of the finest music in any video games you're about to hear now. Classics like Outrider Clyde, Crisis, Wing, Road, etc. etc. Incredible game. Okay. Just put the demo on and just start it for you briefly. Okay, hit that start button. Love this bit, selecting the music. Okay, ride the crisis, check this out. 
Might have got a song title wrong there, forgive me. Probably won't be able to steer because I'm videoing this, but let's just listen to the music. Enjoy the music, I'll actually, I'll just stay and warn the way around. Amazing music, probably my favourite piece of video game music ever, that Outrider Crisis. Off. Okay, let's get into the next instalment of this barter. What we're going to go for next? Let's have a look. Um, I think we'll go for Strider. Here we go. Okay, come Strider. Japanese version. Actually, had this version when I was a kid as well. Here we go. Yeah, absolutely perfect. One thing I did notice was that um, you read a few reports on the internet and YouTube, the American version of this um, adapter, where people get wavy lines and things like that. I was getting some slight imperfections in my video, so what I did, um, I just plugged the free, um, the, sorry, the stereo audio and the video output um, connections into a SCART adapter and then put it into the SCART connection with this TV and as you see it runs absolutely fine. So let's just start this off for you. You can tell I'm old because I still have to show you the pad to show you how amazing this is. Amazing game, Strider. Really weird people back in the day. They said, wow, you can now play an arcade game at home. Wow. Great port. Can't do too much because I'm playing one handed. So. There you go. Right, now we're on the subject of amazing video game music and visuals for that matter. Let's check out Afterburner 2 next. Okay, here we go. Um, another amazing um, arcade port. Pretty technically impressive, I think. This um, came out in 1990. Music's great. Sprites don't scale, but wow, great, great game. Really captures uh, the full spirit of the original arcade game. Love this game. And I'd say the best port of Afterburner for a home console of this era. Right. Now you can't just be sitting here looking at the demo mode. We need the music. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Right, let's go for it. Funnily enough, plays a lot easier on the SNES pads than it did on the Mega Drive one. I could, can't do it one handy, but I find myself being able to use the afterburners a lot quicker. And, uh, you know, I can do the full, like, you know, loop de loop victory roll things a lot easier as well. Like that, yeah, not like even trying. So, wow. So, yeah, the way to play Mega Drive Afterburner 2 is he's played through a SNES on the SNES adapter. Pretty impressive. Okay, yeah, just. Now, if you ever played this back in the day on the Mega Drive pad, you'd really hurt your fingers or whatever to try and you know get the afterburners on, and pretty much without trying, as I'm showing, you can just sit there all day with the afterburners on. Yeah, so. Impressive, great game, love afterburner. Just try and get through to another stage, so you can just tuck in here another. Amazing piece of the game soundtrack. 
Mm -hmm. um, sorry, I'm ruining this video. Let me know why. Can't you continue? Okay, so sorry, I'm not playing this properly. I've got money on one hand. the classic uh, reload weapon sequence. Okay. Right, let's have a look what we got for next. Gate and Center Super Monaco GP2. Never bought this back in the day. But, um, so I'm a big fan of Ayrton Senna, and this is a nice little uh, memento of the great man himself. Uh, so basically just takes the Super Monaco formula and perfects it. Um, and I think it, yeah, actually produced without from Ayrton. off with Space Area 2. So let's get that bad boy fired up. Even got the Woolworths Pride sticker on there from way back in the 1990s. So this is a PAL game running on um, the adapter at um, with a Japanese setting so just showing that you can run a PAL cart on a Jap machine. Definitely not as good as the first game this, but probably one of the first games to showcase the power of the Mega Drive in 88 when it first came out in Japan. Interesting little game. So I'm a massive Space Area fan. And I didn't actually get this um, yeah, back really? in the 90s because the reviews are quite lukewarm. But I thought, because I'm a Space Area fan and you can't get Space Area 1 for the Mega Drive, I thought, you know what, I'll pick this up pretty cheap. It's a, no, it's a decent game. It's not Space Area 1. Oh. Get ready. Right guys, hope you've enjoyed that video. Any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, this is an amazing bit of kit. I think you can get versions of it on eBay. I would recommend it if you haven't got a Mega Drive and you've only got a SNES and you want to play the great library of Mega Drive games. Catch you later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>